gonna line it up like that. What's going on guys it's Toby here and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video but today we're going to be installing this carbon fiber QA1 drive shaft on Sally so we gotta head to trays so we can put the car on the lift and get it done so let's go ahead and pick everything up I got a whole a whole bunch of stuff including the camera bag right there but I will catch you guys once we get to the car everything in the car now and I literally almost dropped the drive shaft because the box broke but I caught it like mid-air too bad I couldn't get that on camera because that was sketchy Apparently, if you drop one of these drive shafts, you have to get a new one. So I'm glad I didn't, but we gotta head to trays now. And as you guys know, it's quite a while away. So we gotta do a little bit of a road trip. It's gonna be fun though. The scenery is always awesome. Exactly what I was referring to of the scenery in Gainesville. So like, I don't know, I just think it's cool because we don't have this back home in West Palm Beach. It's a nice switch up, but otherwise Gainesville absolutely freaking blows. Like I don't like anything about this place at all. Need a shift like it's kind of depressing not gonna lie because there's literally nothing to do here if uf was at ucf campus like in orlando i'd be so much better off honestly it's bloody fantastic wouldn't be a florida summer without a whole bunch of rain so every single day it rains actually and it's just getting it's getting worse and worse like last night it was pouring the entire night but anyways this is why we can't do pulls right now. Like, it's just annoying. I can't even use this car. I don't even have the bead locks, so I'm limited to a third gear pull. I don't even know if it'll hook on these tires. So, you know, it kind of sucks. I really want to get the pull content. I want to, like, do some pulls on the car and stuff, beat it up on E85. But yet again, you can't get E85 in Gainesville, so it's very annoying. I would much rather have the Camaro here, actually. And I'm going to actually swap the car out once I get it. So once the Camaro's ready, I'm going to go back to West Palm, pick it up, that would be Chris. So I'll catch you guys in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a protein bar real quick. What's going on with all these gas pumps, but they literally are running out of 93. So I just filled up Sally with some 93 and the pump kept clicking off. So that means that they're obviously low on it and they don't really have much. Well, what's up with that? I hope I don't have a gas leak and that's not for me. Nah, it wouldn't make sense because the car would have ignited already so i don't think so but yeah we're now like 10 minutes away from trays and i can't wait to see the man and get this stuff done let me hear it did you get a new car tray <laughs> <laughs> really should i go on the other side probably i'm not sure all right i'm tall <laughs> It does sound cool though. It's just a it's little so, excessive. Yeah, it's so excessive. <laughs> Did you hear the tire spin? Dude. <laughs> pierced my eardrums. They still hurt. That was so freaking loud. I'm gonna do a, a boost by dumps or dumps by boost I meant to say. So it'll open up the cutouts with a certain amount or maybe I'll have like a controller or something like that. That would be sick. Cause I, I kind of miss it. Like I'm gonna miss it when we put it back on. But at the same time the drone is unbearable so maybe if we can open it up on the Sally up on the lift though. And we're gonna see what's going on with this drive shaft. Thankfully, Carson here used to work in a shop, so he's done to. it. <laughs> he's done it before, so we're not gonna be completely blind, Trey and I figuring this one out. Yeah, should be pretty easy. Should be. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. Hey, no, <laughs> Don't lie. jinx it. Don't no, jinx no. it. <laughs> so he's currently taking out the 10 mil bull. Those are easy. 
also prying this back with the screwdriver, but I already did it, so I kind of should have filmed that, but it's, it's whatever. You guys get the general idea. And then we're taking off this right here because this is a two-piece drive shaft. The one I have right now is a one-piece, so you no longer need this mount right here. So get rid of that. What do we say about that, Trey? Crikey. Weight reduction, Weight reduction crikey. <laughs> More torque on it, Carson. Come Whoa, on. Hit the <laughs> Dude, that's easy. The back, the, trans. the back of the trans. Yeah. What's that thing called though? It's like flux capacitor. That thing? <laughs> no. No, I'm talking about that thing right there. This? Right before it mounts up to the. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? It looks like a a propeller. The triangle. This right here? Yeah, the the triangle thing. Action! <laughs> Go, Crikey, mate! Pull that drive shaft. All right, all right. Pulled it out. Not a reenactment at all. And now it's time for the carbon one. So I just wanted to see the difference. This one, I think it weighs like 40 something pounds. That's what I was reading online. And then if we pick up this one, obviously that's a lot lighter. So you're saving about 15 pounds with going with the carbon one. Let's put this thing in the car. Before we put in this carbon one, we're supposed to mount this right here. It's like an adapter ring. So we're just loosening these bolts. Man, that is greasy, bro. It says clean it off, but honestly, I mean, it's just cleaning this part off. Yeah, the mating surface. Yeah. So I wouldn't degrease that. Mm -hmm. I would just clean this off. Yeah, brake clean. <laughs> yeah, brake clean it real quick, and then we'll slap it in the car. So that goes in here. Then you have to follow the specific torque spec. So I think it's 47 foot pound. I gotta make sure, look it up. And then we'll put the front in. So it's pretty simple, actually. This is not a difficult job to do. And then we'll put the exhaust on too. It says to clean the mating surfaces, so I'm just gonna brake clean it real quick because there's like a ton of grease on here. And I'm not supposed to talk like that, so I just added like 30 seconds of ed oops <laughs> of editing time. But hey, we ball, right? <laughs> this is the sequence of the vlog where I literally do absolutely nothing while I just work on the car over there. So I'm just gonna walk this way. But they're never gonna they're never gonna know they're never gonna know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna stand over here. We're gonna take a trip. Up this ladder right here. They're never gonna know. Is there anything about lubricant through this? Because it has a little bit. Let me just throw me a vlog right off. That's what they're talking Hey, what are you doing, Trey? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm torquing down the CV adapter, I think it's called, or whatever. 47 foot pound, according to QA1. So. Don't even say that, Trey. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this angle's annoying. We need an extension, I think. Then you're just gonna line it up like that. Where do you need me to twist it? Which way? Oh, I'm trying to see this Go and twist it to the right. Oh, just a little bit. it's like moving weird, though. Yeah, it's like a little <laughs> Got oh, it. There's a little ball thing right there. There you go. Now just push it. Perfect. Twist it to the right a little bit. To the right? Oh, wrong way, sorry. Left. Yeah, yeah like that? Yep. Run that bolt in. Put a little bit It's right here. I lined it up. Go back left a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. You're good. So we're dealing with one issue here and getting the drive shaft back to the trans. So like the Allen key socket that I have doesn't really fit right there. So I don't know how we're gonna torque this. Maybe there's like a deep or something like that. Maybe we need to use a swivel, but it's a pain in the butt. So I'll update you guys as we go. But the back right here is pretty much all lined up. So QA1 puts like a little mark on here. So you need to line that up with the orange. I didn't show that real quick, oops. Kind of messed it up. But this right here is to make sure that it's balanced. So make sure that you line up the adapter with this right here with these orange lines and everything needs to go straight up like that so that it's balanced and it's not going to go flying off it probably won't go flying off but it'll make like a whole bunch of weird noises and vibrations and that's just how you make sure that everything is balanced correctly <laughs> all right are we exposing how busted this car is <laughs> <laughs> this is the trace section of the vlog where i just find everything wrong with this car all right after consulting with uh Father, Father West, oh, oh, Father God. West, <laughs> and we, having some food, and having some great some barbecue, fire brisket, right? Some brisket, and some burnt ends. Although he had some uh, criticisms for it, right, Trey? Not, not gonna lie, it was a little tougher than last time. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
going to see that. <laughs> oh uh, we've God. decided to go back and use the stock bolts. We're going to yeah. use the stock bolts because you can torque them down to, what would we say, 85, right? Yeah, and that's the whole issue we're having right now is we can't fit the Allen key like socket on there because it won't like the drive shaft is blocking it. I don't know. We'll show it in just a second. I don't know if we showed it already. I don't know if we showed it either, but we can fit the stock bolts with Carson's idea. You know, Carson's doing all the work. It's fine. But uh, with Carson's idea, we can use the stock bolts instead and reach it. So yeah, that's what we're going to so go with. That's the plan and we'll show you guys. This is exactly the problem we were talking about. We try to put an Allen key socket here to tighten this down and like you can't. This is blocking it. So... We're gonna use the OEM bolts and see how that goes. Hey, yo! Oh. <laughs> Make sure you lube it up. Yeah, get some Loctite on there. Gotta quick. get it in easy, right? That works. And then we're, we're gonna push it in there. So we have to make an auto zone run to get a star. What would you star call bit? That? Uh, a star, star bit? Dude, it's still sideways. No way. I think it'll work though. There's enough. You don't want to strip it though. Do you think like? Uh... Oh my god. What do you think we have to do then, Carson? I mean, honestly, it's that still sucks, sideways, bro. but it's like barely. Mm, I don't know. We'll figure. It's it out. in there. I just don't want to strip it because now it's a star bit instead of a hex head. Doing this, you are gonna be at a slight angle when you're torquing it down, and it's a lot. I think I have someone hold that right there. Where should I just? God damn! You see how it's bending? That's scary, bro. <laughs> Trey, you want to hold that? That's sketchy. There we go. And then, obviously, you're just going to do that to the two other bolts. Well, we already did one, so one left. This is literally the last step of torquing down those ten tens at the end. So, pretty sure it's 10 millimeter with the Allen key. You just got to go torque every single one of them down to make sure that everything is good. And that is the last step to the install. That will be set to make sure that everything feels okay and there aren't weird vibrations or noises coming. So apparently it gives you more NVH in the first place, but you don't want anything excessive because that means something's off. So we want to make sure that we didn't mess up. So we fought with the exhaust and tried to put it back on after the drive shaft for literal hours and it just didn't fit right. So we called it and I'm going to take it to an exhaust shop and see what they can do. but. I don't think it can be fitted without any custom fabs. So we tried our best and we're going to try out the drive shaft, make sure that everything seems okay. So we're going to give it a test drive. Fuel hat retainer because the car stinks like gas. So I think like it might be a little loose. drive shaft was in fact successful here's a quick little update on things it's actually a few days later and i still wasn't able to get the exhaust installed because gainesville is so busy right now so it's still sitting in my back seat right there and i think we're just gonna have to include that in a different vlog because i want to get this one up i'm just gonna have to oh my god i hate this apartment bro they literally don't have enough parking and then they stick this on your window like where else am i gonna park I'm going to have to go to an exhaust shop maybe this weekend when I go back home for my birthday because it is in fact my birthday today but I don't know what I'm going to do because everyone in Gainesville is busy. They said they can't do it. They have no availability for the next two weeks and I guess we're rocking the header dumps until I can get the exhaust sorted out. So pretty much that's it. I'm going to move the car and if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I hate this apartment. Really? I had to do this to my window and everything. Is this really necessary?